Hello everyone and welcome to Trigonometry. In this video we're going to talk about angles and their measures. So we have angles and their measures. So what is an angle? Well an angle is a figure formed by two rays that have a common endpoint. So here's our common endpoint. This is called the vertex. And then here's our ray, and then here's another ray. Okay? And so the angle is somehow formed by these two rays. Well, that's our angle right there in blue. That's our angle. And notice the direction of the angle is counterclockwise. So counterclockwise. And whenever the direction is counterclockwise, we say it's the positive direction, so it's a positive angle. Um, this side here is called the terminal side, and the sides themselves are called rays. So the sides are called rays. And this end point here, that's called, that's called the vertex. If we draw another angle over here, so here we have one of our rays, and then here we have the terminal side, then the angle ends at the terminal side, in this case, it's clockwise. So the direction of the angle is clockwise. So in this case, we have what's called a negative angle. There are many uh, different types of angles. So let's talk about the different types of angles. Types of angles. So for this discussion, we'll, we need a variable for our angle. So we'll let theta be our angle. And the first type of angle we can talk about is called an acute angle. Acute. So acute. <laughs> acute. So an acute angle is an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. So 0 and then strictly less than 90 degrees. A right angle a right angle is when theta is equal to 90 degrees. So those are called right angles. Uh, then we have something called an obtuse angle. So an obtuse angle is going to be bigger than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. A straight angle, so I know lots, lots of terminology, <laughs> It's good stuff though, lots of knowledge. Knowledge is always good. 180 degrees. So straight angle is a 180 degree angle. And then we have two other um, important ones. We have what's called complementary. So complementary. And this means that they add to 90 degrees. So two angles are complementary if they add to 90 degrees. And then we have what's called supplementary. Supplementary, this means they add to 180 degrees. So lots of information there in three, three and a half minutes or so. Let's go ahead and do a simple example uh, using uh, these, these definitions here. Okay, so EX means example and we're given a picture. So here's our picture. Okay, we have a, a straight line, and then we have a line like this. And then so here we have uh, 4x minus 56, and then here we have x plus 1. So we have these two angles, and it appears that they add to 180 degrees. So they are supplementary angles, and the question is to find the angles. So find the measure of each uh, angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So solution. So we have supplementary angles because they add to 180 degrees, right? This here is 180 degrees. So to find the angles, we have to add these up and set them equal to 180. So x plus 1, and I'll be a little bit terse, I'll drop the degree symbol, plus 4x minus 56 is equal to 180. Then you just combine the x's. 
So 5x and then 1 and minus 56 is minus 55 is equal to 180. Uh, now we can add 55 to both sides. So we get 5x equals 180 plus 55. That's going to be 235, I believe. Yep. And then to finish, we divide by 5. So we end up with x equals 47 degrees. Okay. So that's not our angle. Uh, one of our angles is x plus 1. So that's going to be 47 plus 1, so 48 degrees. That's our first angle. And then our other angle is 4x minus 56. So that's 4 times 48 minus 56. So that's going to be 132. And we can check our answer by adding these. And if we do, we do indeed get 180, right? Because if you do 48 plus 132, Let's see, if you add the 2 to the 8, you get 10. And then 30 plus 40 is 70, so 10 plus 70, yep, 180 degrees. So indeed, it does actually check. So that's it for now. Um, I'll continue this video um, in another video just to keep these uh, short. I hope that made sense.